a helicopter fight, trailing a crane in the air above our teeming streets on which it could have crashed at any moment in a blazing rotor-chopping fireball of doom. Still think the webhead's protecting people like you, caller? Well, he stopped them, and he made sure the helicopter didn't land on anyone. So, it seems to me he did the right thing. Right thing? The right thing would be to call the professionals. My son serves proudly in the Air Force. He's lost thousands of hours of flight time and years of training in protecting our homeland. But he's not good enough? Well, of course he is, but he wasn't there. Spider-Man was. Because that's how he wanted it! God forbid he share the spotlight with anyone! That's it. I'm done pointing out the obvious. Let's go to commercials. I need a double aspirin with an antacid chaser. No! Demons have opened fire. Multiple officers down. Officers needed in Gramercy. Please copy. Demons are getting worse than Fisk ever was. Hold tight, officers. The web swinging cavalry's here. Demons are down. I'll let you take it from here, officers. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. Last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up.
Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so such exemplary citizens. I think this gang war may finally be over. With that, like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but. Loose ends. Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um. Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could... You know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. I'm kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
Right there. What the hell? Where do you think you're going? The shadows. I was right there. Gotta help him. to leave.
I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Or don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy! Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? I'm not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing? I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm. Sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. PG to wake you up. Yeah, Spider-Man, the situation's the under control.
be advised. Reports of an active robbery on an armored vehicle. Additional officers report to Spanish Harlem. Demons aren't just a street gang. site where there's a lot of people but not much work getting done that you can see Yeah, they're kind of fired, so you don't gotta worry about finding the next job. That's me, the boss is handling it right. Let the other players get each other for a while. You don't miss come back strong. Hammerhead and Silvermane and Tombstone and all these other yahoos can get the earth. It's like that the boss had to the country. Exactly. They beat the charges, came back, and they
latecomers. That's a lot of tardy slips I'm gonna have to write. So am I. This is for the boss. the military. That needs to stay off the streets by any means necessary. You're gonna have a bad day. Come on. Fisk will have our ass if we don't take him down. Reinforcements. You know there's different types of reinforcing. You could just say great job a lot. Got Big Willie's guys and his weapons all wrapped up like Christmas morning. Well, you've got a red suit, so you're close enough to Santa Claus for me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 